all down there. You save that to the cloud. Where? That was 30% of my grade. No! So before I debunk cloud storage and let you know why you don't need it, let me explain what it is. So cloud storage basically just means your files are stored on the internet, but not just on the internet. They're on someone's server somewhere and most often multiple servers because if one server bank just happened to go out, well, poof, there goes your files. So file rooms are often redundantly spread across the nation, globe, whatever. So files are just stored on the internet. That means cloud storage is any storage that is not on your device physically. That also means you can access it from any device, laptop, phone, tablet, computer, TV. And since it's not stored physically on your phone, you have the ability to store almost unlimited amounts of data or as much as one user could ever need. Also, these cloud storage companies, at least the large players in the industry, invest heavily in security. Not only do they have awesome firewalls, they've got great encryption, but they're also paying security specialists to make sure their data is secure. So all this sounds pretty good. Why wouldn't you use cloud storage if you can store as much as you want, have it not take up your storage and make sure it's secure? Right on. Ah, well, there's a catch. The true downside to cloud storage is privacy. You lose all right to privacy when you upload to the server. Not only are you risking vulnerabilities or potential attackers accessing your data, but companies themselves can access your data, share it, and even give it to law enforcement. Under privacy laws like the Cloud Act, large tech companies are required to cooperate with law enforcement if they request any of your data. And if it's stored on the cloud, well, guess what? They've got it now. Even if you're from Europe, Japan, anywhere across the world, if that is a US-based tech company, even if their servers are in another country, it can be requested by law enforcement and they have to cooperate. This applies to emails, texts, photos, everything that's on the cloud. And don't forget, your Gmail, that's all backed up on the cloud. And potentially even worse, these companies promise forever storage on the cloud, but really, it's not forever. If they get sold, they change hands, or even go bankrupt, you have the possibility to lose your data completely or have it sold to another company. Still don't believe me? Well, let's take a look at a couple of real world examples that are happening right now as we speak. Some of these even as early as a year ago. So Unisuper, an extension of Google Cloud, was frozen for over a week, freezing 600,000 pension accounts. These had tons of data stored on them. So say if anybody wanted to retire during that week, they just couldn't because nobody knew what their pension info was. And then there's BT Cloud, British Telecom. They shut down their cloud storage service out of nowhere, leaving users to get all their files off within, I think it was a couple weeks. All files became read-only, and if they didn't get them off within the deadline, they're gone. And then back in 2013 to 2008, there was tons of companies just starting up and going bankrupt, leaving people searching for their files and that just being gone. Nirvana X was a large one in 2013 that just changed hands and left the users searching for the files endlessly. So not only is the data you upload to the cloud not private, but it's also not even guaranteed to be there forever or when you might need it. If servers experience downtime or outages, you can't access your data anymore. So if there's important files in there, well, don't count on being able to access them 24 seven because that's a myth. And the craziest part about all this is they actually want you to pay for it. 